Welcome to Love and Legacy. Hey fam, welcome back. It's me, Jalencia. And me, Brandon. And uh, we have a, um, a great talk for you today about love and respect. Or res- Absolutely. Or respect and love. Um, you'll be the, the, great, the great determinant on what's more important. But we'll uh, provide you some tips and suggestions about um, maybe how to balance it out and make sure it's in the right place so you're getting what you want out of your relationships. Absolutely. You'll be the determining factor. We're just letting you know what we think. And before we get started, I want to make sure we do a very special highlight uh, for the people that's um, either going, uh, either about to get married or engaged to be married. Um, it's very important that you understand this is a magical point of your life. Absolutely. Right? We're, t- we're talking about things of how to make um, your marriage work and things. But before you get there, you got to make sure you start off. On a magical Disney note. Yes, you got to be on one accord, absolutely. So, um, and, and for that, um, I just wanted to make, uh, we'll be talking more about how to, um, you know, design the, uh, uh, the, uh, the great wedding experience for yourself for the best money. Uh, when we did it, um, we, felt into, we fell into that demographic uh, of cost of what it um you know, for the African American community, they say we only spend we spend less than about uh, twenty thousand dollars a year on our weddings, and uh, we didn't even spend nowhere close to that. And they had a great wedding, and we talked mm-hmm. about how you can um, get that same magical experience that you'll never forget because you want to start off good, and that's really what it's about. Yeah, and starting off good means not overextending yourself or putting yourself into debt before you even get your foundation going. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, again, that's uh, for later, but we will be covering that space. It's an uncovered space, and we want to make sure that we can provide you all the information that you need if you are in that group of um, about to jump the broom or things like that. So we want to make sure we uh, cover that. So um, respect and love. Yeah. Um, i just say how I feel and I let, um, about it. I say it's 60-40, right? Um, for those of us that's in this um, engagement or already married, newlywed folks, um, I say that you need to have a good foundation of respect because you already love each other, right? So we don't gotta we don't gotta um, talk about that. We got the love, but let's just I feel based off of my experience that you gotta have a good respect foundation so the love can blossom. Absolutely. Uh- my perspective is a little bit different. I don't really have any percentages, but I'll say that respect is much more important than love. Love is good. Love is kind. Love is great. All those things. But at the end of the day, if you don't respect me as a person, what my goals are, what my dreams are, what I want and don't want, Mm -hmm. then we won't last. So respect is paramount. Yeah, love is like fireflies. It's hard, it's intense, and then it can go away, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's in that wave of experience. So um, my suggestion, you know, um, I, would, I don't know if it's just for the males, because I, I try to speak from the male's perspective. Of, or and it's not applicable just to to the males because it's a marriage. You're supposed to work as one, and so um, if, excuse me if I say more male centric things, but I really mean it for anyone that's married. That or planning to be or planning to be married, right? So love you, you in respect. You surrender. Uh, um, you have to have some type of surrendering type of thing, something to answer to. And you don't necessarily have to answer to your partner because they're not your boss, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, part your partner isn't your boss; they're your partner. You're in a group together, so if you surrender to the divine, you know, who, whatever name that you call God, we got to, you know, wh- whoever that, however you say his name. But I will tell you, there's only one God, um, and that's another topic. But who, whatever name that you call God, um, you surrender to that. 
and that way you can you can develop like the selfless love and this is important in in my opinion of that 60 40 thing because if you can like really love yourself and everything around you um just you know out of just because i don't have to love myself because i'm loving like if i've surrendered to god and god's gonna love me because i surrendered to him do i have to love myself uh, yeah, you do, but God got me. God loves me, so if someone someone loves you, so like when you're in the in the relationship with your partner, if you have the the, the Lord in that in that you don't you don't necessarily have to surrender to your partner. You surrender to the divine because you're working as one. So that's why I put respect over love is because if you have your because you get married under God at some. I would think most people that's getting married, they get married under God in some form or fashion. I don't know what country, what type of thing, but you know, you sur you're surrendering to Him when you're getting married. So when it comes down to respect, I have to put full respect. I mean, I don't, I gotta respect the Lord and divine, but um, I surrender to the Lord, so I don't got necessarily to wear back too much. So all my full respect must be on my partner. What do you think? I agree. Um... When it comes to respect, is it's one of those things where you set the standard of what you're willing to accept, what you're willing to um, do as far as self-respect, you know, what you're willing to do as well as what you're willing to receive from your partner and really anyone that you interact with. But in this example, we'll just talk about partnerships. Um, love is that love is granted from the divine, from your higher power. But love is also given to you freely by your partner, and it should be unconditional. Sometimes, yeah. just with the nature of people, love comes with conditions. That's why respect is so important. Because mm -hmm. love can't be demanded. You can demand respect. You can yeah. set a standard of what you are willing to take, what you're willing to accept. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to respect, respect is only based on your standards. What I think respect means is not the same as what you think it means. Yeah. Naturally, our views are gonna align somewhat in order for us to be together and have a functional partnership. They're gonna be similar, but they're not gonna be identical. Yeah. And love doesn't require respect. It should, but it doesn't. There's yeah. been many a times, many relationships that we've sure all had, most of us at least have had where your partner's professing how much they love you, but then they do things that, in your mind, is disrespectful. Yeah. Whether that's lying, cheating, stealing, whatever your, your metric is. And that is a perfect example of why the two aren't the same and why respect should be held over love. Yeah. Um, you can't, can you talk to me like dirt and still tell me that you love me? I don't know. I mean, some people live like that, I guess. But that's not the way to live. Right. And that's what we're trying to, uh, you know, bring you the value. You know, you can do whatever you like. Anybody, people do all day. But um, we've been doing this thing, the little song and dance for 14 years. And, you know, is it perfect? No. But um, if you have a, I like to call them ground rules. Mm -hmm. If you have a good set of ground rules of respect, um... You know, see, the difference between love and respect, see, I can, like, it, I, I mean, it's as a joke, but I might wake up and not love you today, <laughs> you know, because I'm mad or, mm -hmm. or something like that. Right. And, but I should not better not disrespect you, though. Right. You know, it's, it's not fleeting like that. Meaning, I can love of have you say some mean and terrible things sometimes. Just because that's the nature of love. It's not all bum, uh, uh, bubble gums and rose and fairy drops, whatever they call that. Mm -hmm. It's not that. It's a mixture of a lot of different things. But emotions. Emotions, <laughs> yeah. And feelings. Feelings. So Those important things. <laughs> like love, what is love, right? It brings you to joy and a connection. You get, uh, um, you can mature and change with love. Love, love uh, mature and change you. Yeah, because it nurtures you to do that. Yeah, and it helps you overcome. Like, like love, like how they say love will see you through. Yeah, yeah it's true. Um, but we're talking about uh, being with somebody. And to the, 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 um, the glue that binds is respect. Because if I can 
respect you and love you because it's a balance yeah. you need both yeah. but i think you need a little bit more of you need to spike the punch a little bit with the respect like spike it a little bit more i would even say 70 30 but um some you know me <laughs> spiked out with uh, drunk with respect um mm-hmm. and you'll and you'll make it because you know it's a selfless thing to um respect yourself and someone else and it's not to say that love isn't important isn't important because it is for sure, but it's not the most important thing. Because mm-hmm. your love, it won't necessarily fade, but it changes. Yeah. So my advice, action call, right? So mm-hmm. We've kind of covered our thoughts of it, but how do you put this to action? You know, what is it, um, what, can I, what can I take from this and apply to my own engagement? Um, I've been married for a little while, I guess, you know, six months, a year or two now. And um, I want to make sure I want to have this thing for longevity. You know, I'm not in a high school relationship. I'm trying to do a lifetime thing here. And because I'm trying to do a lifetime thing, I have to sit down with not only myself, but my partner and say, what's acceptable? What's appropriate? Accountability, yeah. Yeah. What's What don't you like? What do you like? Now, I'm not going to, you know, that's the thing we ch- we change, you know. I might like hot water cornbread today, and then tomorrow I might not like it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you never had hot water cornbread, I suggest you try some, <laughs> um, or something like that. One thing you said the other day that um, just came to mind when you said, "I didn't put all this effort into chasing you down to get you to mistreat you," and, oh. and that's absolutely true. Like all the effort that you put in to find and woo and pr- pr- pursue your partner. Just to do them wrong, that's a waste of both of y'all time. The, let me tell y'all something. And, you know, if any of y'all ever been around construction or any type, any of those things like that's heavy, like male influence. And I'm going to go out there and say this because this is my personal experience. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Um, but I had a chance to witness the most menly of men talk so crazy to their women. Not, not, I'm not say they're women. Of course, I don't own them. But I mean that in a sense that this is my woman that I went to go get and marry for some reason. And because I witnessed such harsh talkings from my personal experience, I would never want to make anyone feel like that. Especially if you can, in one breath you say you love me, and the next breath you call me some retarded name that doesn't even fit. Excuse me for saying retarded. That's not correct. But I'm, like, old school, so I say retarded things. So I say it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, so please excuse me. Um, but you don't go find something to oppress. Right. Right, and that's, a, you know, I'm speaking, you know, high-powered women and high-powered men. And any, any, both ways. Both, both ways. ways. Both, both ways. ways. Absolutely. Don't you go, go spend all the time trying to get someone and make them feel bad. And... Do they got to make you, do they got to tell you that what you said to them to feel bad? No. You should know, I mean, hey, you tell me you want to spend the rest of your life with this person. And then you can't know them enough to what you're saying can determine how, to, how they're making them feel. Their body language and things. Words are powerful. Mm-hmm. So when you're talking to your spouse or whatever, watch your tone. You know, Leonard Washington, right? Mm-hmm. But watch your tone. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyway... That's what all I got. Sixty forty, you know. Tell me what, and if we, and if we, maybe we got it wrong, right? Hey, leave it in the comments. <laughs> if you, <laughs> you want to have a comment war, let's let's talk about it. Let's, yeah, let's maybe, get some dialogue going. What we, you think? We got it all backwards. But in our opinion, we can both agree that respect is definitely more important than love when it comes to longevity in relationships. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's. Uh, that's the lesson, so let's pay the bills. Make sure you check out RileyApproach.com for Mama Bear Knows. Make sure you go to Velocity Unleashed. If you're slow, like a duck, like a snail, and you want to try to get faster, or your lawn is terrible and you need some landscaping, xeriscaping type knowledge, if your child and kids is running crazy, um, you need some advice about how to get them little rascals together, 
um, we got that. Um, yeah, also check out Brandon's book. It's on Amazon. It's Velocity Unleashed as well. Oh, yeah. I do got a book out there. Go read that. And you go, um, you'll learn a lot. You'll you get a lot of insight about how his mind works uh, when it comes to most things, but specifically his journey through speed and breaking the fastest human foot speed record of yeah. the world. So it's pretty important, pretty impressive guy over here. Yes. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for your attention. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Yeah, and um, make sure you like all our stuff on YouTube and uh, TikTok, wherever you see us at. And make sure you go tell a friend if you thought. Yeah, if if this we got if you gave us if we gave you a few laughs and some insight, and you was like, you know, that was pretty cool. Go tell a few people so that y'all can sit down and, and um, cool out with us together, right? All right. Till next time, y'all. All right. See you next time. Peace. Thank you.